my final project page of my ePortfolio. By this page, you should know a little bit about me. If you missed that section, please pause the video and head back to the introduction page to learn a little bit more about me and my journey. If you have taken my workshops on this topic and need to check back in on the Nearpods, scroll down. If you need to see Wii video features, keep scrolling down to the website I created where all files are located to view again. Now, before I tell you where to go next on this page, I wanted to share my key ideas for my final project, which is, you guessed it, the power of video and what it can do for you and your students. Since the first shutdown from COVID, video was basically forced upon us as teachers. And for a lot of us, we weren't ready. None of us were properly trained and basically had to train ourselves on the fly. It seemed like each teacher took a different approach. Some teachers found pre-existing videos, some recorded themselves, some did voiceovers, and some did live videos. With these, some had more success than others, but it seemed like most of us were just trying to keep our head above water. Once we came back to school full time, I believe video in the classroom was given a bad rap and some teachers vowed to stay away from it forever. I am here today to show you that video in the classroom is a key tool to use for students. I will go over the reasons why it is a key tool, I will cover all different types of videos you could use, and how to use these videos in the best ways. If you are thinking, oh yeah, I already have that, and I do all of that, my next question to you would be, do you create your own videos for your classroom to give your students that personalized feelings and to ensure the video hits on all the points you need it to? We all know the struggle of finding that impact video on YouTube, then dealing with ads, worrying about the length, and is it appropriate for your kids? Imagine not having to worry about that if you had your own video. I am going to show you how easy it is to produce and edit your own video, but just you, by just using a phone, a tripod, a phone attachment, and editing software called Wii Video. Before you know it, you will be making engaging professional videos with cool graphics, transitions, use slow motion, green screen, yep, this was using the chroma key the entire time, and much more. Lastly, my final challenge to you will be once you get the hang of making your own videos, have your students make their own video as a project. I will go over all the benefits of this and all the different ideas you can do with your students. Okay, I just covered a lot. So, where do you go from here? Do not worry about clicking on any of those Nearpods. Um, that are those, for the, those are those people who attended the workshops. Although, if you are looking for a more detailed and more deeper dive into some more of the information, you may want to give it a look. But if you choose to skip those, keep scrolling down to the site where there is a page for each topic I brought up to you earlier. I hope you enjoy, and all my contact information is on the footer of each page if you need to contact me. Have fun.